Welcome to this NX Help Tip. Many years ago, a question came up at a local use group conference. Can you animate a Geneva mechanism in NX without the motion application? At that time, the general consensus was no. More recently, the same question was asked of our help desk, so I thought I'd look into it. The answer is actually yes. This is more of a trick than a tip, as I doubt you'll ever have the need to do this. The tip would be to get the motion application, as it is simpler and quicker. The assembly consists of a housing and a fixed location. The drive shaft with a drive pin and bush attached, and an output shaft with the Geneva wheel. The drive shaft is constrained by a concentric constraint to the fixed housing. The drive pin is constrained to the drive shaft and the bush is constrained to the drive pin. The output shaft is constrained by a concentric constraint to the housing and the Geneva wheel is constrained to the drive shaft. Another constraint is a centre constraint between a datum axis in the drive pin component and the two parallel faces in slot 1 in the Geneva wheel. By rotating the drive shaft we can see the resultant motion. The Geneva wheel follows the drive pin. To get this to work there needs to be a mechanism to release the centre constraint when it leaves the slot to prevent further rotation. Before I tackle that, I will set up the animation. The value of frame number is added to the expression list. An expression of Fn is equated to frame number for simplicity of use. The Fn expression will be used to rotate the drive shaft, and the value of 5 times Fn is input into the angle constraint. The 120 value is for the start angle. The animation is created to drive the mechanism. Now to solve the release problem. You cannot suppress an assembly constraint by an expression, but you can suppress a feature by an expression, which will in effect suppress the assembly constraint attached to it. In the drive pin part, I have placed eight data axis features. This is the same as the number of steps in the Geneva wheel. The datums will be used in the centre constraint in the top assembly. Each data axis has a suppress by expression function applied to it. Back in the main assembly, a series of expressions are created to calculate the suppression time. Suppress axis 1. If the frame number is less than 24, the axis is active, else it is suppressed. At frame number 24, the rotate angle is 5 times 24, equal to 120 degrees. In the drive pin part, the suppress values are linked back to the main assembly. From the main assembly, preview the animation. Notice the change in colour of the datum axis, it indicates the suppression state. The output from the animation can be a hardware or software render. It is far easier to do this animation with the NX Motion application. From the assembly, start the motion application.
then create a new dynamic simulation. Make the three links that represent the case, the driver and the driven. Two revolute joints are required. The first joint is between the drive link and the case. A driving velocity of 360 degrees per second is added to the revolute joint. The second revolute joint is between the driven link and the case. Two 3D contacts are required, the first between the bush and the Geneva wheel, the second between the input shaft and the Geneva wheel. Solve the solution for 8 seconds with 100 steps. As you can see, much simpler with the motion application. Thanks for watching this NX tip. For information on NX and Teams and our products, please contact us at Phoenix PLM.